What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another Minecraft video. In this video we're going to be teaching you how to get unlimited food. Getting unlimited food supply is not a difficult task. It's pretty easy. We're going to be teaching you guys exactly what you need to do to have unlimited food in survival. So let's get into it. So to get food we're going to need some form of an animal. We're going to be focusing on sheep and cows on this one because we got tons of sheep and cows right here, as you can tell. So since we have tons of cows and sheep, and sheep are dual purpose, so actually both cows and sheep are dual purpose. So we need to get a fence, so let's get some fencing. That way we can make a pen for them. Where is the fence at? There we go. So let's just make a whole bunch of fence. Uh, we're out of sticks. So let's make some more sticks. I'm not sure exactly how many fences we need. Make a gate there. I mean, there's no set limit of fences you guys need. It's just how big you want your pen to be. We're going to get a couple more fences. We're going to make a pretty good sized pen. That way they can roam together. So now let's go make our pen. It would probably help if I could jump. That would be nice. We got a drowned over there, so hopefully he don't mess with us. Ah, uh, he can't come out now anyways. It's daytime. Let's chop some of these up. I think this is a good spot right here. So we're going to get away from that so that things don't jump into the pen. Go out to about here. Come back across and then over. Just make it nice basic square pin. Not going any fancy on this pin. There we go. And then we'll add our gate in right here so that we can get in and out. There we go, gate. And now we're going to sleep to get where the night time and finish this in the morning. Cause I don't want to deal with drowns and skeletons. There's a skeleton right there. Go away, skeleton. You're not wanted here. He's following us. Go away, skeleton. And sleep. Alrighty. So now we need to get our animals into our pen. Oh my god, the skeleton's still here. Came into the wrong house, buddy. So getting our animals into the pen is fairly easy. And we got a pig here too. Pigs are a good source for food as well. But we're gonna go get some wheat. And there's a couple ways you can get wheat. There's all these old green plants that we were breaking. They will drop seeds, which then you can plant to make wheat. There's green plants all over here. You, you would just have to break them up. Get some seeds. The easiest way I have found to get your initial wheat is to find villages. And we have a village right up there. So we're just going to go to the village and we're going to steal their wheat. Because I'm sure it's already grown. I am going to turn on coordinates. Coordinates are a good one. It's up to you whether or not you want them. That's just so we know where we're at our current position to get back to our house when we go out exploring. So we're going to go to this village and get some wheat. So we'll be right back when we get close to the village. And we are here at the village. They do have some wolves. That's pretty cool. They got some carrots here. And we could get the pig if we wanted the pig. I don't want to see one pig over there right this second, but we can always come back for the carrots if we want the carrots. We're looking for wheat. Do you guys have a wheat farm? 
Ah, wheat. I see it. We got some sheep here. We could kill their sheep and take that food too if we really wanted to. Or we could just let their sheep out and bring their sheep with us if we wanted to. But we have a lot of sheep, so we get the wheat here. We're just going to take all this wheat. This is our wheat now. Most villages will replant. Some won't. So they might come back up here and replant this after we get done anyways. So take all this wheat. Take all that. And now we have some seeds ourselves that we could plant our own wheat farm. We got 29 wheat. That's plenty enough to get them in the pen. This village is like, what are you doing? What's the way? We're going to head back to our farm now and get our sheep and cows. And we're back. And all you got to do is hold the wheat out. And they will follow. We got a couple sheep here. We got a cow. Let's go ahead and get them in the pen. So bring them all the way back here to the back. Switch off the wheat so they stop following you. And then close the gate so they can't get out. Get this sheep here. We'll get him in the pen. These guys are going to try to run out with us. We'll just come back here and back again. And close them in. So we'll have to get another cow. But for the sheep, we can go ahead and breed the sheep. You just click on them once. They get little hearts. And then they will have a baby sheep, and you can feed the baby sheep here. Make them grow up faster, and you can continuously breed them. You are able to breed animals about every five minutes. So, if you want to make a whole bunch of animals, every five minutes just kind of rebreed these guys, and you can continuously have new babies. Then you kill them, and then you got, we got two muttons and some wool. So, you can also share these guys to make more beds if you need more beds, banners, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with wool. So, we're going to shut them in there. And, I mean, that's how you can have a continuous source of food. There is one more way to have extra food that's probably even a little bit easier than worrying about sheep, cows, or pigs. And that is to fish. So we're going to get a fishing rod. I don't have one made. We will have to make one. So let's get some wood here. You know, pick it back, please. Thank you. And we need a fishing rod, so. Where are fishing rods? Not with a carrot. There we go. So we need string. String is easy to get. Just kill a spider. Spiders will drop you string. But it is daytime. So we probably don't have any spiders out here. So we are going to sit around. And wait until it gets dark. We'll be right back. Alrighty. Now that it's dark. We will find ourselves a spider somewhere. I can see one off in the distance there. So we're going to go get that spider. Get the skeleton out of the way here. And we only need two strings, so kill the spider. Looks like he dropped us in the two strings we need. We're almost dead. But that's alright. We got some meat here, we'll just cook it up and we'll be fine. Let's get back to our little house here. Throw this in the furnace. Make us our fishing pole. There we go. And we'll, let's see. Come on, meat, get done. There we go. Two cooked mutton. We're going to go in and sleep. Make it daytime.
And then the second source of food, which I think is probably easier, probably a better way to get food, is just to sit here and fish. Fishing, you're going to get all kinds of cool stuff. You're going to get fish you're going to, that you can cook for your infinite food supply. You're going to get enchanting books. You're going to get enchanted fishing rods, enchanted bows. You're going to get all kinds of stuff while you're fishing. This is an enchanted pole, so it does take a little bit longer sometimes. But pretty much as long as you can have any kind of water source, you can get fish. If you can see fish swimming in it, like we can right here, that usually gives you a little bit better of chance to get a fish. There's a fish right there, and there's one fish. Keep doing this, you're going to get XP. That way you're going to enchant your items. And like I said, you're going to get all kinds of other stuff. And this will also give you an infinite supply of fish. You will have so much fish you won't know what to do with it. So all you gotta do is throw that in the furnace and there you go. That's what we got for you guys on this video. If you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be coming out with more stuff. Here soon we'll be showing you the fastest way to find diamonds. We'll be showing you some redstone contraptions that will help you in your survival worlds. So make sure, if you're not subscribed, that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Make sure you're following us on Facebook, and if you would be interested in joining our survival realm, make sure you hit us up with a message, and we'll be picking a few people to join us. But until next time, guys, stay crispy.